Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. So, we got some coffee in us now. It is Mother's Day. We're making the smorgasbord, smorgasbord of breakfast stuff today. Mom wants the sausage, uh, biscuits, and gravy. The biscuits and gravy. So we're going to make some homemade gravy. We got the old cast iron pan out. Coffee cup. We got the, we're going to run the Jimmy Dean regular sausage. We're going to get this in here. Last time we added a little too much heat. No, we didn't. No. So the one pound of sausage for the gravy. Uh, I found this recipe online. Um, I can't remember where it was. I did uh, tweak it a little bit. Um, and there's probably hundreds of recipes online that you can do or find. But this is the one we're going to roll with. Alright, so we got sausage in the pan. It's starting to sizzle. Um, while that was getting there, we got some of our uh, ingredients here. We got a third cup of flour, two tablespoons of butter, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of black pepper, and I just used, uh, I think, a teaspoon of uh, salt. Not in the original. Uh, recipe in the original recipe it calls for like seasoned salt um, you can use that if you want we haven't used it the last few times and it's turned out pretty good so we're gonna get that stirred up I just kind of cut it in the strips or chop it in the strips and then flatten it out. We like big chunks of sausage in the gravy, so we'll go with that. So while that's gone, we're going to get another pan going here. Medium heat or so. And we're going to put hash browns in that one. Alright. So we're going to, this has been cooking a while. Let's see, kind of flip it. I do have the oven preheating for the biscuits. We're going to... So uh, we're going to cheat today and use the uh, buttermilk biscuits from Walmart, a great value. And then I'll we'll just take, grab that, take a couple, and it feels doughy. Well, it is doughy. Um, and sticky. So we buttered this pan. I'm not 
Yes. Okay. One. Daddy, is that one? No, that's two. Oh. Um. Oh. Alright. That's all. We got our biscuits. And it's... It's biscuit time. A little closer together than what they said to... For 325. All right, let's put them in. Okay. All right. We'll set that timer. It says 13 minutes. We got the shredded hash browns. Alright, so our sausage is about done. Barrett's gonna put the butter in there. So you gotta put the two tablespoons of butter in, melt that, and then we'll add the third cup flour. Mix that in, stir that for a couple minutes for your roux. And then um, after you got your flour in there a couple minutes, we will add the milk. You can use whole milk, we've used skim milk, whole milk, 1%, 2%, um, whatever we've had in the fridge and it turns out fine. Uh, today we're going to use 1%. And it will be lovely. Ready, Dad? Go ahead. Alright. So we'll stir this for a couple minutes. We did not try to get any of the sausage grease out or anything. I need both my hands. In a couple minutes, Barrett's gonna pour the first two cups of milk in. And we'll need one more cup of milk. Three cups of milk. Put this away, Daddy. You can put that in the sink. Even this one. Yep. And we'll stir this. Where's your warm one? Where's your warm one? run this for a little bit and uh, keep an eye on it stir occasionally and now we gotta start our eggs so hang out so our gravy is starting to thicken up Our seasoning in. Ooh, seasoning. Cool. Yeah. Got all of it. Bunch of pepper. Stir that in. Pepper mo mostly is in it instead of this garlic salt and the salt. We're gonna actually just turn it off. 
Gravy. And the gravy is done. We're going to put a little butter in this pan. For our eggs. And uh, drop these in here. Secret seasoning. Yeah. Slap your mama. Put a little of that in there. And some taco cheese. Cheese no, not too much cheese. To make it cheesy. It'll be too cheesy. <laughs> Alright, so we got the hash browns rolling. Barrett's doing the eggs. Sausage gravy is done. And the biscuits should be... Almost done. Yep. It's gonna be epic. All right, we got the food done. Kids are sitting down, chowing down. I'm gonna show you what it's all about. So you got the biscuit. Break that biscuit in half, like such. Now, if you're really over the top, you can have like the circle bit. Uh, patties of sausage put them on there and you take your, uh, your eggs put some eggs on there actually I'm gonna move these off to the side a bit grab your hash browns Put them on there. Like that. Then you put your eggs on. Now for the Trinity sausage gravy, sausage gravy, sausage gravy. Sausage gravy. Boom. We got your biscuits, your gravy, your hash browns, eggs, gravy. I'm going to put a little red devil on there. Yes. You got to admit, Dad, this is good. All right. So it's time to test our labor here. We got some gravy, some hash browns, some eggs, some red devil. That's I got you a Daddy, I can use my fork. Daddy, I That's really good. Piece of sausage in there. No, no. You got to do it. Don't do that. We're up the view. Yeah, man. Now, they're not homemade biscuits, but. Mm -mm. No. Do you make homemade biscuits? 
Now, if you're really ambitious, you could do this. Or, you can make biscuits and gravy like, say, Saturday. And then you can warm up your leftover gravy for the eggs and hash browns Sunday. Sunday? Sunday. <laughs> or whatever. Whatever. <laughs> that I said what you said. That's good. Yep. Thanks, my yummy. And well, yummy sausage. We're going to eat. Probably all of it. And then uh, we're going to hang out today. So For Mother's Day. For Mother's Day. We'll put the recipe for the sausage gravy down below. And uh, our little recipe, I guess, for the eggs. You can find that down below. Well, how is it? Good. Good? Good? Yeah. How's the gravy? Barrett? Good. Good? You didn't have any gravy. You just had the hash browns and biscuit. Mm -hmm. I ate all of the eggs. Yeah. Pretty good? Good. Okay, so we appreciate you guys sticking around and watching. We hope you stick around for the next one. Stay safe. And we'll see you then. Stay safe. Stay safe.